Okay, we're going to start out by showing my view, then the target's view, and then I'll show you the uh, external operation of it from the sides. And we'll uh, just start out by just showing you how it's loaded again. Uh, make sure your slide is all the way back and locked. Uh, insert your magazine, make sure it's all in there. Release the slide release, or slide catch, sorry. And you're ready. And then that is a, a wonderful determinant of when you're out. Um, the slide will not go forward anymore, no matter how much you try, unless you hit the release. Then it'll go forward, but uh, if your magazine is empty, it's always going to be locked in that position until you, lock, until you take the magazine out. And then you can put it back into its regular position, put it on safety, or you can release the hammer by just holding it back, pulling the trigger, and just lightly letting it back into its normal position and uh, we'll do some more shooting. And you can hear that uh, the CO2 just ran out, runs out quite immediately, uh, and, but uh, before I discuss that, we'll show you some more angles. Okay, now we're going to take some very slow and careful calculated shots. Nah, I'm just kidding. And we are out. Uh, because that ran out before my entire magazine was out, I'm going to do another kind of video of that. Um, so we're just going to try to run out this magazine while firing uh, at a high rate of fire there. Uh, again, this isn't a fully automatic gun, just to let you know, I'm just pulling the trigger after each shot. And I'm not shooting um, in the gangster way just for fun, I just wanted to show you guys the uh, top view of how this gun operates as well. So, just to really conclude this video, I, uh, I have both of these 
gun set out. This is the GSG 92 and this is the sweet, uh, sorry, the Swiss Arms P92. They're the exact same gun. This is the older one. The GSG 92 is going to be the older uh, brand, I guess you could say. And the Swiss Arms P92 is the newer rebranding version of it. Um, just in regards to the firepower, they both have the exact same velocity, I believe. Maybe like, you know, one or two feet per second below, whatever it says in the box. But it's not exactly always 100% because many things determine, you know, wind, the CO2 left, etc. So we're not going to really talk too much about that, especially since I don't have the tools to really measure it. But they do uh, have good penetrating power, as you did see with the targets. They can go straight through cardboard. Uh, they'll go straight through metal cans. Um, they do do quite a bit of destruction, and they are fairly high FPS for being just simple handguns. The fire rate from these guns uh, are as fast as you can shoot, so if you can pull this trigger back, numerous times and you probably lost my voice there but if you can pull that trigger back many times that's as fast as your fire rate's going to be so it's really determined up by you and these guns can handle it uh, mainly because of their durability both of these guns uh, whether you have the swiss arms or the gsg 92 are full metal and as you can see it's got a nice kind of little uh, gun metal shine there even the magazines are metal as you can see and uh, you'll see you look at a little bit of wear and tear just to give you a good uh, idea, I'll just show you kind of them both up close. I mean, you can see the GSG-92, definitely newer, of course, because it is newer. I haven't actually shot it off yet. And then you have the old one, if you can kind of see. It's a bit more uh, scratched up, even just at the top there. You can see some wear and tear just from the slide going back and forth. And uh, even you can see on the trigger there. Regardless, though, these guns will last you a long time. Uh, because of their full metal construction, they're completely reliable and they do add a, a pretty hefty amount of weight when you have the magazine and the CO2 in there. My only complaint about the magazines is sometimes, and I really shouldn't complain about this because I do like this feature, but the CO2 goes in the magazine, meaning these magazines cost a lot to replace. So if you lost it for how, whatever reason, or this bre uh, broke somehow. Again, I don't really know what circumstances that could be, but you might have some issues with the CO2 leaking out. You will have to buy another one of these, and it's actually quite a significant cost, and it's almost worth it just to get a brand new gun and another magazine. Um, so it's really just being, uh, just something kind of finicky, but I've never had any problem with these magazines or anything like that, so I haven't had to replace them. If you take good care of these guns, they're gonna take care of you as well. Um, just in regards to the shots fired before the CO2 drop was, you can normally get about four magazines off. Um, so if you buy more of these, or if you just, um, or I'm, actually I should say, if you're just using the single one, obviously you're only going to get, you're going to get whatever CO2 housing is in there. So at the, it depends on the fire rate you're shooting at. So the faster you shoot, the less CO2 is going to be left. Um, the slower you shoot, the more CO2 shots you might be able to get out before it dies. And again, weather is a huge determinant if it's cold or if it's hot. If it's hot, it's generally better. Uh, you're going to get a few more shots off versus in the winter. So generally you can get about 80 shots. The magazine holds about 20, 21, 22. It's really weird. Um, you know, they all say different things. Even on the magazine, if you buy new ones, they're going to say 20, the box is 21, you might be able to fit 22. I mean, I don't really know how many you can fit in because all of them say different things. So it's let's just say 21 for the sake of uh, argument. And you can say we're going to get three or four before you just, the CO2 dies out immediately, which I found a little bit surprising. Generally, it kind of takes a little bit to just, you know, decrease. But with these guns, they seem to just, you know, they're dead, which isn't bad considering you're not wasting BBs that are just going at a very slow velocity anyways. Um, just in regards to the price, I mean, both of these guns, uh, again, this is the older one. This is the new one, newer one that you're going to get. You won't get the laser. I just have that on there. But um, about $100. And like I said, they're all full metal construction. If you look at the other guns that are going on sale for uh, full metal, and they don't even have blowback features, they, they can range up to over $200, $250. And that's not even including tax. Mainly I'm talking to Canadians, so that's another 13% off whatever your purchase is. So, definitely if you're interested in getting a nice budget gun, just starting out with something that's uh, full metal, uh, has a bit of weight. Maybe you're getting out from, uh, you know, shooting a real gun or something along those lines, and you want something that kind of gives you that simulated feel. Definitely check out the GSG-92, 
or uh, what it's now known as is the Swiss Arms P92. And just a little note for new owners, uh, once you, um, I'll show you with this one, once you buy the new gun, uh, the magazines might stick a little bit. As you can see, I can push this release and this isn't going anywhere. Yeah, you're just going to have to kind of pull it out yourself. After a while of putting it in and out, it's going to kind of, um, the metal is going to, you know, scrape up against each other numerous times and then you're going to get something along the results of this where I only have to put just a little bit of pressure on that and the magazine falls out. And that's just from regular wear and tear as you can see. This uh, magazine came with this gun so obviously it's been through uh, quite a bit. So just, just for new gun owners in case you get that and you're not too sure about it. It's just to let you know that they will fit perfectly fine. It's just they're going to take a little bit of time to get used to. So you you will be having to pull this out a little bit um, and just putting it back in and it locking. So don't worry about that issue. And otherwise, this is a great purchase. I would definitely recommend it. Go out and get it before they're all sold out because these are some of the most popular ones that are available right now. Um, check out the website Airgun Source and I will have more videos for you soon.